Hey guys, I'm DCSG81 and I'm still in Tokyo right now and I would like to do another my opinions video but before I begin, uh, I'd like to say something about my previous opinions video about the Sentinel Toys Spider-Gwen because uh, I have seen some new pictures uh, on hand pictures from one of the collectors, I think his nickname is Spidey 1974 in Instagram yeah you can see his pictures right over here and the faces for this Gwen seems to be okay as compared to those that we've seen in uh, Isaac Wong pictures okay, so <laughs> I would like to reserve my you know bad comments about the faces this time so to those of you who are on the edge of cancelling your order I would say <laughs> put it on hold first because let's see more pictures before we decide yeah at, at the meantime I'm also kind of on the edge whether I should get it or not okay so let's get back to the my opinions video and this time around I'll be talking about the Mayfax comic versions of Thor and I know a lot of you guys are actually waiting for that to come out and yeah I do see some pretty bad reviews about it but before I begin as always I would like to say big thanks to Isaac Wong for his always very fast pictures from the new upcoming products yes Thank you so much for all the pictures and let's go through the box it's a very standard box design from Mayfax as we all know and here is the content of what is coming out with and yeah this time around I do have a few things to say because I'm pretty happy that they actually give uh, one Mjolnir on his own and another one just for you to hang on to his belt and some other hands that you can use for the flying poses and one of it I'm not so sure what this uh, hands is for but I do like the fact that they actually preset the hands already on the Mjolnir handle which will prove to be useful and of course it does come with the spinning Mjolnir as well as the stand for it so this is the pictures of the Thor right out of the box and you can see the back and the front view of it in this picture you can see how you can actually hang his Mjolnir onto his waist and some action poses which looks pretty good there and he does comes with two interchangeable heads yeah from this picture you can actually see that he <laughs> doesn't look like he have any neck but nevertheless he does look very good with the spinning union but of course you will have to pose him to make it look like the figure actually covers the stand on the back yeah just like this picture yeah so that it doesn't look odd that the spinning union does indeed need a stand to hold it and here is the flying pose of Thor and very unfortunate his head couldn't look up because of his back hair now let's go through some size comparison as you can see that he actually compared it with the SHV Guards as well as the Mayfax Thor and again very unfortunate it just looks like this Thor is indeed very very small <laughs> and short yeah in fact I do feel that the SHV Guards uh, Thor just looks taller than him this time and Isaac also did some comparison with the other two Mayfax which is the Spider-Man as well as Magneto and he just looks about the same height as Spider-Man which is pretty pretty odd so yes I do find this very very disappointing because the Thor is supposed to be a very huge guy as compared to other characters and yeah I think Mayfax kind of screwed it up with the size this time and he just looks like he doesn't have any neck in some of these pictures so for my final wording I do feel that Maybe you should actually save your money for the Marvel Legends instead. So yes, I do hope that you find this my opinion video useful for your decision making on whether you should grab this long awaited tour. And my answer is probably not unless the price drop quite a huge amount then you can consider getting it. So I'll catch you again in my next video.